Let's meet a guy who has something special to share with us. As I say, Head of Music and Performing Arts at Canterbury College. Ian Mollett is on the line. Hello, Ian. Afternoon. Hi, how are you? Pretty good, thank you. Now, good. tell us about the background to this song. We're going to play Keep the World Alive in a moment, but you wrote it a little while ago, didn't you? <laughs> yes. It was actually written back in uh, 1994 when at university. Okay. And and was uh, kind of really a reaction to what was going on at the time in the world. Now, you have to remind us, because 1994 was some time ago, a lot's happened <laughs> since. What What prompted you? To write this. I think there was, well, there was, I think it was things like I was a member of Surfers Against Sewage, which had just started out, um, the deforestation in Sierra Leone, Amazon, the fighting in Somali, uh, war of independence in Croatia, Rwanda, all those kind of huge events. Um, and I think it was just written at the time with my friend Steve Lang, who wrote most of the lyrics, um, as kind of a statement that we needed to take a look at ourselves and sort things out. And what impact did it have? Did you and Steve record it and get it out there? Yes, we uh, yeah, we did it in a band called, a band called Melons Lemons, which uh, we did all the way through university. Um, we did actually record a version, but unfortunately it didn't, it didn't do anything, apart from being played at a lot of gigs around East Kent. And funny enough, I think one of your uh, compatriots, Andy Garland, knew it. Yes, um, oh yeah. So, no, so yes, there's, there's a long history to it, but uh, um, yes, it was recorded with, uh, the, you know, what was going on at the time. Now, and music has always been a very big part of your life, hasn't it, Ian? Yes, uh, since, since as young as I can remember, really. I started on piano, then moved to guitar, then to electric guitar, and then ended up on bass guitar. And you've played bass for, what, how long now? Uh, I started probably when I was 18, and now I'm uh, 48. <laughs> um, well, keep that one quiet. Yes, yeah, uh, OK. A well, fair amount of time. Yeah, a, a decent, yeah, decent number of years playing. Uh, now, more recently, you've been prompted to dust down Keep the World Alive, haven't you? Tell us why. Um, well, the, well the, the story to that is I was diagnosed with... Um, Parkinson's um, disease about three, two, three years ago. And I kind of had to stop playing live and looked at what else I could do. And I, I teach music technology as part of my job. And I thought I've, I will focus on basically redoing some tracks from earlier on in my life that would keep me positive and involved. Uh, and that's where it kind of stemmed from. And I was very fortunate that I had a good friend James Dean, who played in Melons Lemons as well many years ago, who helped me sort of organise it all and get all the wonderful players that I have who kindly contributed to it. Um, so that's really the background to why, why it came about again. So uh, is this, then, uh, just to be clear, is this a new version of the original song then? Yes, it's quite different to the original, just in... The arrangement, although a lot of the underpinning things, you know, chords, that kind of thing, are the same, same melodies. But it's just been, I, I guess, been brought up to date. Brilliant. And where can we hear it? I mean, we're going to play it on air now, but if people like what they hear, can they get hold of it? Where would they go? It's, it's on uh, YouTube. And, uh, if, you know, literally, if you either type Mole, Keep the World Alive 2020, it will take you to it. Uh, or I think it's on now on Spotify and Apple Music. That's very good. And yet, I mean, the the sound of it we're, we'll hear, but there's you know there are inspirations from funk and soul, pop, jazz. It's all in there, isn't it? <laughs> yes, this <laughs> hodgepodge of uh, <laughs> styles, which uh, you know shows my kind of interest in music is very wide and varied. Yeah. Uh, and luckily, everyone who plays on it has similar taste. Uh, so I'm very thankful to all of those who took took the time to help me, and obviously to the college, East Kent College, for uh, supporting me in in kind of seeing me through this period of time. Yeah, 
Absolutely. Well, listen, it is great to talk to you. We'll, we'll play the track now and, uh, you know, people can hunt it out if they would like yeah. a copy for themselves. Keep the World Alive 2020, it's called. Ian, we wish you well. Thank you so Thank much you. for being with us this afternoon. No problem. Excellent, isn't it? Check it out. Keep the world alive 2020.